I think everyone needs a little good news and just looking at the smile on Leo's face is I think gonna gonna make everyone's day better. Yes, agreed 100%. Everyone needs a little good, good news right now, especially right now, right? Janie Best is the president and CEO of Make-A-Wish Idaho. During the pandemic, she says there have been travel restrictions on making wishes come true for Idaho children battling life-threatening illnesses. When they found out, though, about three-year-old Leo Martin's wish, they knew they could make it happen right here in the Treasure Valley. As you are about to see, it was a day everyone needed. Maggie O'Mara has the story of Leo's wish in our seventh hero. Say your name for me and how old you are. Leo. And how old are you? Three. <laughs> this is little Leo Martin. Today, his wish is coming true. To me, it's pretty humbling. I think about kids and what they can wish for and to want to come be a garbage man for the day was pretty awesome. Yes, you heard right. Make-A-Wish Idaho is granting Leo's wish to be a garbage man, thanks to Republic Services. Make-A-Wish reached out to us and, um, you know, we uh, were excited about the opportunity. It's not every day that uh, somebody chooses us over, say, a Disneyland. You see, this three-year-old has big love for garbage trucks. He's kind of always enjoyed dump trucks. When he was really little, um, we take our dog for a walk and we be out when the garbage trucks were doing their route and so he really loved watching the bins dump. He copied the sounds um, and then when he got sick our friend sent him a model garbage truck with bins and prongs and the whole nine yards and he just from there really took off with with his love of garbage trucks. What's your favorite part? The dumping. The, the dumping. dumping. Can you show him how it works? How does it work? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, at home he helps sort the recycling from the garbage. You know, you've got the milk cartons and the cardboard boxes for recycling and then the trash pieces, dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah. no, he just loves it. Leo was diagnosed with a brain tumor a year ago at the age of two. It was a medulloblastoma. It was a heartbreaking blow for his parents, Brian and Shannon, but this kid he is a fighter. Yeah, so he um, completed five rounds of chemo and three transplant rounds. After the treatment, his MRI came back negative, which is great, so there's no tumor left. Uh, we've already had our first three-month MRI, which came back negative, which is great. So, you know, it's just a hoping and, <laughs> and waiting game at this point. He's yeah, done really well. He's doing great. On this special day, little Leo got to do all the garbage man things and made stops all over town. He's been practicing <laughs> before, um, setting up a route and putting on his gloves and his, his uniform. So even this morning he woke up and said, I need to get ready for work. I've got to put my uniform on. We started out at the facility and he got to tour the trucks and the maintenance area and then he got to ride in the garbage truck and go dump some some big bins <laughs> did you get to meet the mayor too bud yeah <laughs> um, and then we drove over here to the landfill and we got to dump out the truck what do we do at the landfill Dump it. Dump it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Packwood of Republic Services was his driver. I thought that was pretty cool that he wanted to be a blue collar kid for the day and, and I was totally stoked and uh, it's been really amazing. I have two grandkids that are the same age as Leo so kind of hit home a little bit but it was amazing, truly amazing. As excited as he was, I think we were equally as excited to put it together. This is a big deal for us. I mean, this is one of those feel good days that we really feel like we give back. And so this has been a great day for us that we're gonna remember for a long time. We wanna give just huge thanks to Republic and all of their crew for doing such an amazing job for Leo and his family. It was emotional for his mom and dad to see their little warrior having so much fun after fighting cancer for so long. I just think it, like it's such a special, just such a special thing for him to get to do. Thank you to Republic Services and thank you to Make-A-Wish. Leo, what was your favorite part? Getting to dump the bins. Getting to dump the bins. <laughs> <laughs> to the incredible team who helped make this wish become a reality. We just can't thank them enough. <laughs> yeah, this has been really amazing. So we yeah. really, really, really appreciate it. 
you are all seven zeros. What a great story. For more information on donating to Make-A-Wish Idaho to make more magic like this happen, go to this story at KTVB.com.